Hey everybody, it's Paul here again. Uh, I'm doing a little quick video uh, on RMS power and peak or max power. What's the difference? In glossary, the RMS power stands for root mean square. This is the power at which amps, speakers, and subwoofers will be able to play continuously without failing. The amount of ohms also has a factor in the amount of RMS power you receive. Example, 300 watts RMS at 2 ohms or 500 watts RMS at 1 ohm. For peak or max power, this is the max power that amp speakers or subwoofers can handle briefly before, before failing. But if played continually at peak or max power, this will cause them to fail. Example, 1200 watts max or peak, according to the little chart up front, up there. While the radio and amplifier is cranked wide open at stable ohm load, then the amp will produce close to max power, if not more. Why does the box list max or peak power? Listing max or peak power on a box for amps and, or speakers is a way of advertising the appeal for lots of power, as well as listing the item's max capabilities, power capabilities. Everyone wants stuff that is bigger and better, so listing max power on the box is their way of fulfilling the buyer's needs. Running amps, woofers, and speakers at max power or peak power can cause the equipment to fail quicker than if ran at RMS. It would be like buying a brand new truck with a V8, starting the engine and flooring the pedal while it's still in park, and keeping it there. Eventually, the motor is going to explode or fail dramatically in some sort of fashion. Kind of like this. <laughs> well, not that bad, I'm sure. If you need more power, consider spending a little more on an amplifier or speakers that have a higher RMS power rating than rather going by max power. Not only will your sound quality be better, and not distorted, your equipment will last much longer. Which means that you'll less likely have to purchase more equipment due to failing. When the equipment, amps, or speakers are played to their maximum capabilities, distortion is created, causing music to sound terrible. Distortion, unlike harmonic distortion, can kill a speaker quick. The Big Debate there are scores of discussions about which is better, RMS or max power. I am sure that the debate will last forever. While this video gives you the basic information on the two, it is up to you to pick out the equipment that you need by doing a little bit of research by reading all the specifications. Thank you for watching. This video only covers the basics of RMS and max power. There are plenty of forums dedicated to the subject on the internet. Now, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have an excellent day. And according to the good words of Justice Card, go home and sleep well. And please subscribe.